Wowzers. Hey, YouTube. I'm just going to get straight into it because I don't really have that much time. Okay. So, the sun, according to 13 Signs Astrology, which is the astrology I follow, the astrology of the mother, the real astrology, it's really close to Vedic. It follows exactly where the planets are in the sky. So it's constellation astrology. It doesn't really follow the zodiac signs, which was created in the Western world, where it gave each zodiac sign only 30 degrees. If you look at the stars and the constellations, it's clear that many zodiac signs like the Virgo constellation and, well, many constellations, which was converted into um, zodiac signs, many constellations are larger than the 30 degrees that's given to the zodiac signs in tropical astrology. So following Vedic and even getting more specific following 13 signs astrology um, brings in that 13th sign, that extra sign uh, of Fucus. And we just... Um, left Ophiuchus season for the sun sign we have a few more planets also just left Ophiuchus season um like Venus Venus is now in Sagittarius because Ophiuchus falls right in between Scorpio and Sagittarius and I don't know I just like to give like this quick little brief description on 13 signs astrology because I believe it's important to um for my listeners to understand where I'm coming from. It's always important to do your own research, yes, but if you're gonna tune into my video, I'm gonna tell you what's tea. So I just wanted to make this quick video um, on the importance of the divine feminine. Um, and the reason why I brought up the Ophiuchus and where the, where the planets are right now, the reason why I brought up 13 signs astrology is because the number 13 coincides with the divine feminine in so many ways. It is the number of the divine feminine. And that's why you see that the number 13 has been literally like killed. It's been demonized. Friday the 13th is a bad, bad number, bad day. 13th is an evil number. It's unlucky. There's no 13th floor um, in a hotel, in an elevator, like a whole bunch of myths. And superstitions when it comes to 13. Earlier today, I found myself listening to the Mama Mama Zogbe's interview, um, and she has dug up so much information about Mommy Wata. I hope this comes out good. I'm not too sure if it's going to be reflecting weirdly on the camera, but here's the book, Mommy Wata, African ancient goddess unveiled and she goes into the history of <laughs> sorry she goes into the history of the divine african feminine mommy wata mommy the mother the african black mother she also has another book which um, is called The Sibyls, The First Prophetesses of Mami Wata. As you can see, the Sibyls here are melanated brown um, women. And it goes about, it goes um, on to talk about the theft of African prophecy by the Catholic Church. And I just want to say, like, a lot of us Black women, like, first of all, Black women, we are the main women in the churches, okay? We are running the churches, but you don't see a lot of Black women being pastors or a lot of um, Black, like, church clergy or just, like, a lot of Black women being represented as the leaders of the church, I should say. You don't see a lot of Black women being represented as the leaders. There's a lot of Black women that go to church and all that, but when you see them as, like, the leaders and, like, the head figures that's not seen as often as it should and I think this stems from not only it stems from the theft of the matriarchy and the patriarchy not only stealing information but stealing and diminishing and destructing the history 
the reason for this video is of course to spread knowledge um, for any brown women, melanated women, Nubian women that wants to understand her, her um, ancestry and her worth spiritually and understand who she is within the DNA and understand it in a mental way. A lot of us black women are extremely intuitive and we understand things in an emotional sense. But when it hits the mental plane, <clears throat> that's when things get rocky because we see that it's hard for us to find our information. It's hard for us to read about our information. So today I found um, Mama Zog Bay's interviews. If you want to listen to her interview, it's like eight or nine parts long, eight or nine videos, and they're about 10 to 12 minutes each. Um, and if you just search on YouTube, The Sybils, Mommy Wata, Mama Zog Bay interview, you'll find it. And you can sit through and listen to what she says. She speaks a lot about what she wrote about in this book. I've had this book for a few, maybe almost half a year. I got this book this year and I go to it like here and there just to read and just to see the pictures of just all of the history, right? The pictures of the truth, the pictures to see that every single dynasty, every single religious sector that you see was started from the African mothers, from Buddhism, Christianity, Islam, you know, or Hinduism, all of that, the gods and goddesses there were melanated, right? They looked like melanated people. And, you know, this is something that we see like all the time, we hear about it all the time. You know that this is what has happened to our history but it was just good for me to get my hands on the actual knowledge so this is book one i know she has two books of the same size so i know that when it's time i'll get book two but just going through book one just seeing all the pictures and seeing how these goddesses actually looks it was just so astonishing to me and you know like very emotional um, another thing that I just wanted to quickly say is, so the Sybils book is really focused on the Sybils, which were the ancient oracles. I know a lot of people have heard of the Oracle of Delphi. They were never white women. They were black women. Um, there were so many oracles all over like this region of the country, all over the east. And they were all in different cities. So the oracles were in different cities and the Oracle of Delphi um, I was in the city of Delphi and I would say they are the most like popular or well known but these African Sibyls oracles were all over the east prophesizing healing um doing what they do <clears throat> so this is also a cool book to have if you're interested if you are a seer yourself if you if you consider yourself an oracle and you are melanated it's a good book to, to have to know your information just to also give you like that backbone of like I'm on my path this is real I know what's going on like you guys aren't going to corrupt my mind anymore and when I say you guys you know the, the patriarchy um Caucasian folk the people that the people that have destructed the, the history of the woman you know, <clears throat> listening to the interviews today, I, <clears throat> I really was able to understand um, when it comes to like Greek mythology, Mama Zogbe talks about Greek mythology and how that was all melanated folk, but they took the history, they changed the, the figures to make it look like they were never melanated. And um, they've confused the masses for years and years and years. And now we're coming forth, many women like me and like many women that feel called to come forth and spread the truth are coming forth spreading the truth. And I thank Mama Zogbe so much for like creating these works and going. She said she literally went to um, Italy, Rome, like she literally traveled and took these pictures herself to to show and to see and to prove to herself and to remember 
And that's the biggest thing right now. So, you know, it was really just on my tongue to share this, to share that this is honestly the beginning of my journey. I would say that I started to deeply look into the Divine Feminine earlier this year. And I started with another book that I made to a quick little review on. Why not? It was called Mary Magdalene Mysteries. And I actually got that book before this. And it just speaks about the matriarchy. But it doesn't speak about the matriarchy for a melanated woman. And for me, and as a truth seeker, I'm like, okay, I get it. But I need to see the text. Like, I get it. I feel it. I know it. But just having like that mental plane download it was really really important for me i'm not even gonna lie so first video of many i feel like it was just really important to share this information and to put out my ping and my signal out to the world that yeah we're doing this we are all up in it like we not playing at all at all like the truth shall be known and it shall set us free as melanated women. Like, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of just the fakeness. I'm sick and tired of just what is going on to our melanated women at this time. Um, you know, I'm not here to criticize or to judge and we are all on our own journeys. But I hope as time goes on more and more of us will awaken to the truth, the truth of our ancestry and the truth of who we really are. And I like to consider myself someone that likes to bring back the truth and bring back the past and to bring back the originality of life and like of what's going on. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna just keep this short. I'm gonna keep this short. Um, shout out to Mama Zogbe, shout out to Mommy Wata, shout out to the Sibyls, shout out to the Melanated Oracles, shout out to the Matriarchy, Divine Feminine is coming back. We see so much crazy stuff happening in this world and with only with the restoration of the Divine Feminine is where we're going to see the true healing on a global scale. Not too sure if I'll see that in my lifetime but hey you never know so all right guys thank you for watching this video just want to keep it cute and sweet and simple get these two books if you are interested okay in learning your history as a melanated brown woman all right bye guys